Hey guys, Fireman Dan here. Welcome back to War Thunder. So, I had a comment on one of my videos, a uh, video on how to play helicopters, linked into the top, to asking me if I can go through my controls. And that's what I'm doing here. Now, quick, I'm just going to scroll down here, and if you see something you want, you just pause the video. Unless there's something that I need to mention specifically. And it's also important to note that I've been playing War Thunder for a while, so my controls are heavily modified uh, compared to your traditional War Thunder controls. And what you know what it comes when you first install the game. So they may conflict with other things, like my view. Does the zoom in? I have my zoom change around. And that's fine. If you guys see something in here that conflicts with what you have binded already, you can just pick a different key. But this is what I got. So let's get through it here. So you got hover mode, which is self-explanatory. Manual roll mode. I actually do use this when flying because it makes things a little smoother and easier sometimes. Collective pitch and collective fight. Let's go down and edit axis. And this is what I got right here. Collective pitch makes you go up and down. Hover height also makes you go up and down, but only whenever you have hover mode engaged. This is what I got for the hover mode. And you'll notice that the, the key bindings are exactly the same. And that is perfectly fine because you're either going to be using your collective or you're going to be in hover mode. So the only thing is, if I come in here and hit left shift and do that, oh, probably didn't do that. Um, the shift it says it this year this button has already been assigned to prop pitch up that's fine just hit add and the same thing mouse wheel up add here's my roll stuff these are unchanged except just the key bindings weaponry small caliber guns large caliber guns additional guns are all the same thing that will fire your, your nose cannon or if you mount an additional gun on your nose cannon then you got fire, fire primary, fire secondary. These are only if you have the the new uh, weapon selection mode, which is this right here. Switch, switch primary weapons, switch secondary weapons. I have them binded, but I never used I never used this the the new mode. I only used that the new mode where you can switch weapons in in planes, such as the F4 Phantom, where you can get either the Sidewinders or you can get the Sparrow missiles. That's the only time, really, the only time I, re I really use it. Uh, drop bombs, fire rockets, fire rocket salvo. You really, sh it's really better to have a rocket salvo button binded. Um, I, I don't know why I don't. I should, because you, generally you're not going to just fire one rockets unless you're in, say, the KA-50 or the MI, say MI-28. With, with the, the heavy rockets in them. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, weapon lock air to air. This turns your missile seeker on and off. This is not required. Because the same button that you use to fire the, the air to air missiles will also turn the missile seeker off. Or excuse me, will turn this, the missile seeker on. So in this case, when, you, when we get to it, I use alt. So I push alt to turn the missile seeker on. And I push alt once I locked onto a target to fire my air to air missile. The only reason I got x binded in here is if for whatever reason I do not fire that air-to-air -air missile, I don't want that... I do not want the, that growl, that sidewinder, or whatever, blaring in my ear. So I can push it here and push X to turn that, turn that off. But this is not required. Weapon lock, air-to-ground. This is one of the the buttons on my my mouse. But this is for, this is not required either, unless you're using the German helicopter, which is actually this, because the the UHT's got these fire the the PARS missiles, then fire and forget. If you accidentally lock onto an, an enemy or a friendly tank, you obviously do not want to fire that missile. And by pushing this, it will turn the, the missile seeker off. Radar search mode, radar change radar mode, select radar lock on, and lock radar target on. 
These two, once again, are on my mouse, and these are key bindings. All of these radar modes are not required unless you have the uh, AH-64D Apache or the Ka-52, I think it is, that has the, the, the radar built into them. Fire flares. Uh, I don't have the flares button binded, even though a lot of helicopters have flares, because most helicopters have the auto flares. They automatically fire and launch the flares off whenever a uh, missile comes your way. That's why I don't have a binded, but just know it's there. Fire air to ground missile. That's self explanatory. And here's the fire air to air missile that we talked about up there. You'll push Alt to turn the, the missile seeker on. And once, once it's warmed up, you aim at your target, it'll lock on, and you push Alt again to fire it. Target ballistic computer on. Or toggle, toggle ballistic computer. That's very important. Especially if you're using rockets. Um, usually only the top helicopters have ballistic computers. The starter ones do not. Camera control. Uh, toggle view. Okay. Sight stabilization. If you watch the video I talked about where... Uh, how do you helicopters? When I keep talking about smashing the right mouse button to lock on enemy, enemy planes coming at you. That's what this is. You can lock on the ground. This, this disable site stabilization. Once again, a button on my keyboard or my mouse button. This is not required. Uh, the only reason I have this is if for whatever reason I'm flying along, I pull up my gun camera, I lock, lock on the lock on the piece of piece of terrain, and I want to disable that lock. Instead of pushing right mouse button again and just moving it, I can just hit this button. This is not required. This is a personal. Once again, this is a personal preference. Shooter ATGM. This one is very important in my opinion. And the reason for this is this put pulls up your your gun camera, the way you actually fire fire your, the camera where you launch your uh, well your ATGM. And the reason this is important, instead of hitting V several times, you can just simply push R. A it makes targeting vehicles much easier, much quicker, and B more importantly, if you have that check coming at you or you're hovering somewhere and you have an AA to launch a missile at you, instead of hit trying to panic and push V several times to get out of your gun, your, your ATGM camera, to get in your flight camera, your third person camera, so you can fly better and try to dodge that enemy aircraft or that enemy missile, you can just hit R. So this is one of the things that I say is extremely important. Uh, toggle engine, uh, dependent if you want it. Toggle landing gear, there's only a couple of helicopters in the game that have landing gears. I think the Hind is one of them, and I know the Ka 5052 has them. Uh, switch NVD mode, that's your thermal or your night vision, that's important. And then over here to the common, I don't think there's really anything in here that's important regarding the helicopter. Maybe zoom camera, because I, I remember I changed mine, so that's so mine is zebra. And yeah, I don't think there's anything really in here that's important. All right, but that's that is my uh, controls for helicopters. This is Fireman Dan. I'll see you guys next time.